What? They asked Tromso to clear away all the snow in the village. Oh, hi! Welcome to OUP Online. Oh, what was that about? Ah, I'm reading a book called Snow Troll. You finished already? Wow, that's really fast. Well, I'm nearly done too. But do you remember when Peter and the other children asked Tromso to clear away all the snow in the village with just one shuffle? Yeah, poor Tromso. He must feel really, really tired, and it's gonna take him so long. If only the snow would just melt by itself, and Tromso won't need to do anything. Oh, I remember. I've read from somewhere that says this white powder can make snow melt super, super fast. Let me go tell Tromso. Wait, white powder. Was it sugar or salt? Do you know? No. Well, I guess I'll need to do an experiment to find out. Well, since there's no snow in Hong Kong, why don't we try ice? Let's go. You coming? Get a sheet of paper and write down control, salt, and sugar, so we know what to add to each ice cube. Control means we're not adding anything to it. Take the ice cube out of the freezer and add one tablespoon of sugar and salt to the ice. Now let's start our stopwatch and see which one melts the fastest. The ice cube with salt is the first one to disappear. For me, it took two hours and three seconds for it to melt, and the two other ice cubes are still quite big. Hmm. Let's talk about why this happens. Ice, snow, vapor—they're all made out of water. They're just different because of the temperature. It's like in summer, we wear shorts and run around the park, and in winter, we wear jumpers and don't want to move at all. Just like us, the water molecules don't move as much, so they freeze and turn into ice. And when they're warm, they move so much that they turn into vapor. In order for water to turn into ice. The temperature needs to be at zero degrees Celsius or even colder. That is why you can only make ice in your freezer, and why we don't have snow in Hong Kong. The coldest Hong Kong ever got was 3.1 degrees Celsius. Ice can melt and turn back into water. You just need to warm them up. You can put them under the sun or pour some hot water on them. But salt can make them melt even faster. Water turns into ice at zero degree, but when we add salt. Water cannot turn into ice until it is at minus sixteen degrees, so ice can't stay frozen and will melt much, much faster. A lot of countries actually use salt to melt the snow, so it's safer for people to drive and walk. All right, I need to go tell Tromso about this cool trick. Why don't you click on the link and download the activity sheet? You'll find out what people in the old days actually used ice and salt for. You can also do the experiment yourself. All the details are written on the activity sheet. Comment below and tell us one cool fact about ice or snow, and we'll pick three people in random and give away our stationery pack. Well, I really need to go now. See you next time. Bye bye. 各位家长，依家你可以用八十八蚊嘅价钱，就可以买到三本价值超过二百蚊嘅牛津英文故事书。每本故事书都会跟一条教学影片。由英文老师同你仔女一齐睇，唔好等啊！只要用 QR code 登记，就可以同你仔女一齐享受牛津英文故事书嘅乐趣。